Today, I want to reflect on three insights from 2021 that I had shared back in December. Or maybe I should say three crucial questions we need to answer for continuous growth in this new digital era, which we re-embarked recently. Are we agile enough? How can we CPGs and FMCGs react more quickly to the consumer demand? Are we investing in the right technology? And how are we going to find the right talent? When CPGs can aggregate disparate data sources, use artificial intelligence machine learning solutions to recognize patterns in data and automate processes based on AI and ML rules and models, then we can gain insights to act with the agility of a startup to uncover opportunities and overcome the industry challenges. Because demand is fragmented and the runway for innovation, digital transformation is getting shorter and shorter. We can't look ahead three, five years anymore. The horizon is only 12 to 18 months away. And consumer preferences change rapidly and the digital natives, Gen Z and now upcoming Gen Alpha, make their choices and purchases based on user-generated content, online reviews, their favorite influencers' posts, many of whom have millions more followers than the brands they promote. That's the reality of Web 2.0 era that we're living in right now. Influencers can grow faster and bigger than brands in terms of reach and loyalty at a much lower cost. So, we need to think about improving how we account for ROI, profitability, and marketing expenses with the current business models in place. The measurement and reporting system should deliver a holistic view of our relationship between our brands and the consumer. When a TikTok video goes viral, it creates a really, really big challenge to traditional marketing, manufacturing, and fulfillment cycles in place. We all have stage gate innovation workflows in our organizations, and there you have committees, approval procedures that slow down the decision making in order to mitigate the failure risk. But at what cost in today's agile environment? Those models are still in place in almost all CPGs, meaning those functional silos act as a significant barrier to digital transformation. And if we really want to adapt to rapidly changing consumer demand, we must figure out ways to eliminate those functional silos and focus on aligning our operations to our consumers. If we can successfully incorporate omnichannel consumer analytics into our business processes, then we can generate actionable insights about our consumers. There are significant changes taking place in shopping habits and we need to be at the forefront of that change if we really want to engage with our consumers and create meaningful experiences for them. Next steps to increase agility. So we should determine our high level pain points, then take an inventory of our existing data sources. And finally, we should prioritize areas where we want to increase agility because we cannot be agile across all functions overnight. It could be product development, manufacturing, digital marketing, or maybe D2C fulfillment. It it doesn't have to be everywhere at once. So let's divide and conquer with a starting point with a certain function. Once we gain agility in a particular area, then we can start exploiting it and exploring other function as the next step. And how about demonstrating measurable ROI? So we can then tackle another challenge in a different area of our organization. Are we investing in the right technology? This is a very big one. In this digital age we live in, transformation means making changes to technology and the existing technology in many CPGs act as the barrier to digital transformation. Leading CPG companies will deploy agile and lean innovation models while leveraging rapid test and learn approaches and advanced analytics to capture emerging and evolving consumer trends. In reality, the deadlines we've set for implementing new digital capabilities are quite often very ambitious. To generate a single view of D2C consumers, partners, suppliers, B2C or B2B customers, and business processes, we're going to need a holistic analytical platform so we can integrate the data about consumer behavior into our operations. And this level integrated analytics could help CPGs achieve omnichannel objectives and bring across channel consumer preferences about a surface. So, we can make accurate and timely decisions about our operations across the organization. So what does it mean or how does it look like? A unified platform can incorporate data not only about consumers but about suppliers, partners, regulators and competitors. It will provide a 360 view of the entire consumer landscape, enable real-time visibility at a granular level, allowing companies to make timely and accurate decisions about operations across the organization. Data analytics, artificial intelligence, and machine learning are already critical capabilities and they enable us to achieve optimization throughout the value chain from sourcing to fulfillment and all the way through the consumer experience. So we can predict consumer demand trends leading to R&D insights, new products or services to improve consumer engagement and brand loyalty. Are we there yet? 
general speaking not really but i see some cpgs making investments in that area by 2023 more than 30 percent of large organizations will have analysts practicing decision intelligence including decision modeling so let's wait and see how this is going to roll out how are we going to find the right talent talent development is essential to future proof our business as new technology skills are much in demand and this year the market is on fire Talk to any director who's trying to hire digital commerce talent, they will tell you how tough it is out there. Hiring new talent is one way of doing it, but many CPGs also use creative resourcing, upskilling, automation, and a gig economy to create a flexible workforce. People with technological skills in the fields companies need most, such as e-commerce and data science, are in high demand. And many new graduates choose to work for tech companies with high salaries, Therefore, hiring competition is intense. CPGs already started increasing their salary and benefit packages to attract them. So are consulting and the technology firms. And the industry also started rethinking the way work gets done. Fast changing demands of the consumer marketplace require us to shift away from functional silos to more agile blended teams. Doing work this way fosters collaboration and creativity and produces faster results. The future of work is not the future anymore, it's already here. And we need to cut through silos and hierarchies to have our teams work in agile ways, horizontally connected and act as a team because e-commerce is a team sport. Culture is the foundation of this new structure and as Peter Drucker put it brilliantly, culture eats strategy for breakfast. We should reward agility over perfection while we need to figure out how to operate faster with clarity. We need to blend local and global where we can enable business units locally within a global workflow. Those were three insights I had at the end of 2021. I hope it resonated. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.